Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered how to amend the pattern to either decrease or increase the depth of your box corners? Well, in this tutorial I will show you four of my favorite ways to do it. So if this is something you'd like to learn, then keep on watching. Imagine this is your pattern piece for your pouch, backpack, crossbody bag or other project that uses box corners. Your side seams may be uh, a little bit angled, so they may go outward like this or inward like this. This is absolutely fine. The principles of amending the box corners will be exactly the same, regardless of the angle of your side seams. If your pattern includes seam allowance, I would highly recommend tracing it on the separate piece of paper and removing the seam allowance. So imagine this is my pattern already without the seam allowance. And let's say I want to increase the depth of my box corner by two centimeters in total. At the moment, the depth of my pouch is six centimeters. Um, so I want it to be eight centimeters in total because this is only half of the pouch, either the front or the back we will have to divide those measurements in half. So this will be three centimeters and my new depth would be four centimeters. So to increase the depth of those corners from three centimeters to four centimeters, we need to amend the length of those lines here. So those two lines on this side and on this side are three centimeters long. The first way to amend your pattern would be to move those lines further so they are four centimeters long. So let's do that first. So I would measure one centimeter, draw another line, then measure one centimeter from here and draw a line just like that. If you want to do the opposite and you want to decrease the depth, you would draw a line just like that, which means, for example, this line would be two centimeters instead. If you choose to use this method to amend your pattern piece, you need to keep in mind that the height of your project will change depending if you are increasing the depth or maybe decreasing the depth. So as you see, this would be our pattern now, which means this is the total height of our project. Or if you are decreasing and making your box corner smaller, you will increase the height of your project. Also, the width of the base will change. So if you are increasing the depth, this will be shorter. But if you are decreasing the corners, it will be longer. And another thing that will change is the angle of your seam once your pouch or back is finished. So at the moment, this is the angle of my project once the pouch is finished. But after the amendments, the side seam will be even more angled because the width of base is shorter. If you are decreasing the corners, this is how your side seam will look like. So again, it will change the angle from the original angle here to less pronounced angle. There is always something that will change if you decide to amend your box corners. However, there is a way of choosing different methods if you want to keep a specific measurements the same as it is in the original pattern. So let's say we want to keep the original height of the project. In this instance, you could increase the length of those two lines by one centimeter, and then we can drop this line lower. Here you go, just like that. So basically, this would be your new pattern piece. If you wanted to decrease the amount, you would shorten this line so it would end here, and then you would shorten this line as well so it would end here. So your new pattern would look like this. When you choose this method, the height of your project stays the same 
and only the angle of your seam and the width of the base will change. But what if, for example, you want to keep the same width of your base and the original height of your project? Well, in this situation, you could increase your box corner just like you did before. And then you would have to add that one centimeter to this line here. And because we want to keep the same width, we need to go outward. Now you have two options. Either you're going to join this point here with the original corner. So you would angle the shape of your pattern piece, just like that. Or you can go straight to keep the same shape of the pattern. In my opinion, this amendment is best if you want to increase your corners and you don't want to affect too much the shape and size of your finished project. The original angle of your side seam is exactly the same as previously. You are only increasing the depth of the box corners. If however you want to keep the 90 degrees angle here, you need to go parallel, so you go straight up, which means the total width of the top of your pouch will increase. So if I do this on both sides, you will notice that I increase the width of my pouch at the top by two centimeters. But what if your project has style lines, like on this Molly zipper pouch, and the pattern would be divided and made out of two or more pieces? So in this situation, I would take all those individual pattern pieces, transfer them on a separate piece of paper without the seam allowance, and then you would place them on a table and arrange them the same way you would as if the seams were uh, already finished. And then you can use a masking tape or a cello tape to stick those separate pieces together. So they create a one large piece. This way, whichever method you decide to use, you will see which pattern piece is affected by the amendment. So if I go this way, we can see that neither of those pieces are affected by the amendment. However, if we went this way, we can see that the base panel is affected and also those two side panels. The middle panel here is not affected by the amendment. Now you have better understanding how each amendment affects the size and shape of your project. So you can choose whichever method is best for you. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.